Hi, I'm Philip Dorwart. I'm the chef and owner of Create Catering and the Dining Studio in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today I want to make beignets for you. Beignets are a Mardi Gras favorite. They're a tradition in New Orleans. But you know what? There's nothing that says you can't make them all year round. Today we're going to make perfect Café du Monde style beignets. Café du Monde has been making these beignets for 150 years, so they must be doing something right. As with any recipe, we want to start with high quality ingredients. We're going to start with some yeast, some warm water, not too warm. If you go over 105, you might kill your yeast, and a little bit of sugar. We're going to whisk this all together and make sure that all the yeast dissolves in this bowl. The sugar helps activate the yeast. So if you're making this recipe at home, you'd let this sit for 12 minutes. It's called letting the yeast bloom. We'll pretend right now that it's been 12 minutes. In a smaller bowl, we're going to add our eggs. We're going to add our evaporated milk. And we're going to add our salt. We're going to whisk this together very well. so It's nice and smooth. Won't take long. Just like that. Now we're going to take our egg mixture and pour it back into our yeast mixture. And we're going to whisk these together too so it's nice and smooth. We're almost done already. So now we're going to take three cups of our flour and we're going to add that. We want to whisk this together until it just starts to come just like that. So it kind of looks like pancake batter. We remove that. And now we're going to add our shortening. Shortening is a key ingredient here because what we want to do is we want to make really nice, tender, pillowy style beignets. And this shortening will help cut gluten that might develop. Gluten is fantastic for bread. It makes wonderful, chewy, crusty breads. But we want pillowy, tender beignets. Now we're going to add the rest of our flour. And again, we're going to stir and stir until it starts to come together. And once this starts to come together, we're going to turn it out onto our work surface. And then we're going to get kind of dirty here because we're going to knead this. And we want to knead it as little as possible, but as enough to make it smooth. So as you can see, this is starting to come together. We're going to pull this out. I'm going to just stir it by hand just a little bit here. Now it goes on to our work surface to start kneading. We want to get all that flour that's still on the bottom there. Here we go. Start to knead. See how this is coming together already? So I want to fold it over. I want to turn it a quarter turn. And I want to push with my hand right down. Same thing. I'm going to fold it over and knead it. Fold it, knead it. Here we go. Now this dough is a little bit tacky. If you're used to making bread, this may throw you for a little bit of a loop. But rest assured, tacky is good in this case. So get into it, really. Let yourself work. Now it's starting to come together. It's just about smooth. There we go. I can't feel any clumps at all. That's exactly what we're looking for. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another bowl. I'm going to add just a little bit of cottonseed oil here. And I'm going to spread this around. And this is the bowl that our dough is going to rise in. So now, put our dough in the bowl. We want to cover it with the linen. Let it sit for two hours at room temperature. This is a key. Don't rush it. We need this to about double in size. All right, our dough has risen for two hours. And here it is. You can see how it's virtually doubled in size, which is just a wonderful, wonderful dough. It's very light and airy. So during that two hours, I also preheated our cottonseed oil to 370 degrees. Cottonseed oil is a perfect medium for frying beignets. It has a neutral flavor, really lends itself to delicate desserts. Cottonseed oil and beignets go back 150 years. That's a pretty long history. So I'm not about to mess with that. We're going to use 100% pure cottonseed oil for this. Our next step is to flour our board lightly, and we're going to turn out our dough. See how nice and airy that is? We're going to put a little bit of flour on top. We're just going to rub that in. And now we're going to roll. We want to roll to about a quarter of an inch. So not too thick, not too thin. 
There we go. By letting that dough rise for two hours, you can see all the air pockets here and it makes it really easy to roll out. So now it's time to cut our beignets. We're going to cut just a little bit of a corner off here to do our test. Our cottonseed oil is 370 degrees. We want to test that temperature by dropping just a little piece of our beignet in and if it floats within eight seconds, which it magically did already, we know that our fryer oil is ready to fry a batch of beignet. I'm going to put a little bit more flour on top of here and now I'm going to cut. Now, I like the traditional square beignets, but you can get a cookie cutter, you can cut whatever size or shape you want. There we go. So, now I'm going to gently drop these in and I like to use the basting method. And that means I just gently wash the oil over the top of the beignet. And this will help it puff up really quickly. This takes about a minute to a minute and 20 seconds to do. And we want to pull them out. We want to flip them when they're perfectly golden brown. If you don't have a fryer like this at home, maybe you have a, a smaller fryer, uh, you can cut your beignets as small as you want. Uh, if may, you can also use a, uh, a cast iron pan with a thermometer. But I'll tell you, one thing that you have to have is 100% cottonseed oil. So now you can see, we flip these over, they're perfectly golden brown. About another 15 or 20 seconds. I'm going to continue to baste this side. Cottonseed oil is available at Bass Pro Shops and it's also available at any number of other sporting goods stores. There we go. Now we're going to pull these right out of the fryer. They're just perfect. I'm going to let these drain for just a few seconds. Uh, at home, you can use a plate with a paper towel on it, let it drain for a few seconds. And then what you want to do is cover it in powdered sugar. And now we add these to the ones that we've already fried. And nothing will finish these off like a nice Cafe du Monde style cafe au lait. For more information on cottonseed oil, visit cottonseedoiltour.com.